Hi and welcome. In this video, I'll take a closer look at the Surface Book's fulcrum hinge and latch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Surface Book videos. Without further ado, let's get started with this video. One of the most distinct features of the Surface Book is the dynamic fulcrum hinge. It works by transferring the weight from the rubber strip near the hinge onto the actual hinge. This moves the pivot point closer to the screen, therefore decreasing the moment arm and increasing the weight required for the surface to tip over. It's very clever and it works. However, this means the hinge will be touching the desk and there will be wear marks where it makes contact. For my surface book, you can see there are marks on the first and third hinge already after just one week of use. Apart from that, the hinge is nicely tuned so the device can be opened without holding the base for most of the travel. Microsoft added a lot more friction to the last section, and for that part, you'll need to hold down the base to continue opening the Surface Book. I think Microsoft added the friction to decrease screen wobble at the usual working angle. What I found more interesting than the hinge though is the latch. From its looks, it's very hard to tell how it works. The base just has two pieces of metal tabs, and the clipboard just has two slots with some movable metal pieces inside. From closer inspection, I think the latch works by friction. Once docked, the metal movable pieces will wedge in between the tab on the base and the slot. Once the release button is pressed, the metal pieces are lifted up and the tabs become free. There's one thing I noticed on the latch though. If the screen is putting torque on the tabs, the surface makes a very loud noise as it releases. I find it best to hold the screen to reduce the rotational force on the tabs, then release the clipboard. As for docking the tablet, I find it best just to hold it close to the base and let the magnets do the aligning job. It does take time to get used to, but it's so much easier than fighting the magnets and manually aligning it. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel for more Surface Book videos. I'll see you later. Take care.